Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and yesterday the release candidate, the first release candidate for Godot 3.1 finally arrived. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it means that Godot 3.1 is one step closer, and that's something we should all be pretty excited about, because there is a lot of great stuff in Godot 3.1. Now, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail in this video for reasons I will explain in a second, but I did want to bring this to your attention. Now, Godot itself has been undergoing a much more open development process as of late, and in the Godot 3.1 release, We've already had 11 quick betas where they've done, they've been released out there. The whole idea is that you test things as fast as possible, give them the feedback, and they can improve them and improve them and improve them. And that's what they have done. Like I said, Godot has gone through 11 betas since the 3.1 release. And now we're one step further. And this is the release candidate. And the name kind of says it all. This is the candidate for being the final release. It means we are getting one step closer to the actual full 3.1 release. This is pretty much what it should be like. Have at it, boys. Jump on it. Test the heck out of it. Report any bugs you have. But what you see is pretty much, in theory, what you will get with 3.1. Now, um, if you'll see here on the announcement, so this is the uh, Godot Engine blog announcing the release candidate for Godot 3.1. And one of the things that I'm going to honor in this particular version is they said this is a release candidate build, which means it is not suitable yet for use in production nor press reviews of what Godot 3.1 would be on its release. This is not a final release, so I am not going to go into a whole lot of detail about what is in there. I'm not really going to go hands-on or anything like that other than, hey, here we go. This is Godot 3.1, and if you're already familiar with Godot 3, it's pretty similar. There's been a lot of polishes across the board, but a lot of the changes and improvements are behind the scenes. The only one that's going to really jump out at you right away if you fire up Godot right now is this guy right here. GLES 2 support is in there, so if you are trying to support older hardware, uh, you now have a choice between the two different renderers. Um, and then there's a bunch of smaller improvements behind the scene. Now, I promise when Godot 3.1 is released, I will go into this in a lot more detail. But truth of the matter is, I've actually covered a lot of these features as they were being developed. So if you go through my channel for Godot 3, you will find all kinds of these things featured in individual videos. Now, if you're interested in grabbing this guy, there are two separate downloads. I will link them below. Uh, you head on in there. The first one is here, and you've got basically every platform has pre-compiled binaries available for release candidate one. And then on top of that, there is also a mono version. So if you're working with C sharp, um, that is there. Now C sharp is another area where there's been a lot of improvements. So if you don't care about C sharp, grab the base release. This one, as you can see, so we'll go look at an example here. The 64 bit windows build is 22 megabytes versus da, 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 da. 45. So it does definitely grow the binary. Not that most people are going to care. And 45 megabytes for an install is still ludicrously small in this day and age. I know that's what a lot of people already love about Godot in the first place. It's just, it's super feature rich, but it is still quite a small package. Now I've actually, um, I've done full tutorials on this guy. I also did a full step-by-step -step tutorial. In fact, creating uh, this game that you see in front of you right here. Um, I will link that down below as well. So if you want to jump in and start playing with Godot, I've got you covered with tutorials and so on. Also got a book on the way that I am updating to support Godot 3.1. Hopefully we'll have a new revision of that out soon as well. So look uh, in the link down below for all kinds of Godot learning resources as well. Now, in terms of a quick TLDR, because once again, I'm going to revisit this once the full-blown version of Godot 3.1 releases, but here you can see some of the stuff that is the major new features here. Now, I just mentioned already the OpenGL ES2 renderer is added back in. I know a lot of people are interested in that one. There is a visual shader editor available as well. I did a um, video on that beforehand. Uh, there's 3D soft body and 3D ragdoll support. There's actually been a lot of changes on the, uh, th the physics side of things in general. Uh, they switched to bullet physics a while back, so that has enabled a whole lot of new functionality. On top of that, there is uh, CSG, or Constructive Solid Geometry Support. I did a video on that one as well. 2D Mesh and Skeletal def Deformation Support, which, hey, I did a video on that as well. Uh, kinematic Body 2D Improvements. Um, revamped inspector. So this is, you're going to see a lot of these little things, little tweaks and changes to the UI that just make life easier and nicer to work with. Again, I will go through all that stuff in detail when the final version of 3.1 is here. Uh, improvements to the animation editor, improvements to the animation tree, new file system doc that we can see da, 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 over here, new layout, new way of working. Uh, let's head on back over. Uh, 
yeah, now we're going to get into the smaller things, except for the really big things. So uh, we've got improved C-sharp support in this particular release. And one of the things that I actually find most interesting in this release is there is a new optional uh uh, typed support. So if you want to have a typed language where you can uh, have a, you know some more advanced checks, etc., there is now a uh, statically typed version of uh, Godot as an option. Purely optional, but it will give you the ability to detect certain bugs and issues that were a little bit harder to trace before with a full um, dynamic typed language. So that is a big part of this release as well. And a lot of these things have been in action. You see there's a whole bunch of smaller fixes and so on, but this optional static typing, this is one of those things that I am definitely kind of pumped about. I like um, static typed languages personally. I come from that background. And this would be a lot of the reason why I would actually switch over to the C Sharp development over GD script. So this way I can stick to GD script but still get fully um, static typed uh, or optional typing in my GD script which I am really looking forward to uh, so I'll link to this as well so if you want to learn a little bit more so not a huge in-depth video here because frankly uh, they don't want me to go huge and in-depth here so this is not a uh, my intention on this video. I just wanted you to basically be made aware that Release Candidate 1 of Godot is out there, um, and this is as close to final release as you can get without being a final release. So unlike the betas, this shouldn't be volatile or unstable. You know, you're still, it isn't a final full-on release yet, so do expect bugs, and if you encounter bugs, be sure to report them, because hopefully this is where we get all of the uh, showstoppers out of the way so that we can make uh, Godot 3.1 as good of a release as possible. And then I, again, will wait for the full 3.1 release before I do a full, more in-depth video showing you each of these uh, things in action. But do keep in mind, as I mentioned, a lot of the stuff like the CSG support and the, the static typing support and so on, I have done videos on them in the past. Now, they were on versions that were in development, so they're not going to match the final release. So I will revisit all of those things once the full release comes. But if you're wanting a bit more of a preview of what is in 3.1, especially if you haven't been using any of the betas to date, I've got you covered there as well. All right, so that's it. Uh, Godot 3.1 Release Candidate is now available. Check it out. Beat the crap out of it. Report those bugs and let me know what you think. Is there a feature on there that you are most excited about? Let me know. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.